Hey guys, this is Blake from Blake Sanctum, retro site for retro games, bringing to you another video log. Yes, it's been a few months since I did that other video log where I got out my Sega Mega Drive after about 20 years of not touching it and tried it out and all my old games and much to my surprise they all worked. And if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll make sure I put a link on the side here and I'll also put one on the end card. And you know, I had so much fun doing that that I started seriously thinking about getting more games. And you, if you guys saw that video and stuck around to the end, which I'd be surprised if anyone did because it went for ages, um, I talked about the kind of games I wanted because as a kid, didn't have much money. Mum could only get me maybe one or two games a year. So that's why my collection was only about eight or so games. And so there was a lot of games I always really wanted as a kid that I'd hire from the video shop or I'd see in a catalog or something that I wanted, but I could never have. And well, now I can get them because you know, I'm an adult, I have money and, uh, and I want to spend it on stupid things, damn it. So uh, yeah, I, uh, I've started collecting. And I thought it'd be fun to do follow-up video logs like this one as the games come in and me trying them out. So this is the first of my collecting videos. Now, a few things have changed since last time. Firstly, I uh, got a new TV. Uh, well, it's secondhand, so it's not new, new. But um, it has the things I wanted, so I got it. It's bigger than the last one, so those lovely pixelated artifacts we saw on the uh, Mega Drive games last time will look even worse now. <laughs> and look at this. I found the gun. I found the Menacer. Now, you guys might recall me talking about this in the last video. I found the manual, but I couldn't find the gun. Well... Appears to be in pretty good nick. I found it in an old st uh, toy storage chest. <laughs> and uh, it was just sitting there with a whole bunch of old cho toys from my childhood. And, uh, yeah. There we go. It's on. You guys might recall me saying last time around that uh, it broke. A friend was using it and it broke. It just stopped working one day. And I wasn't able to figure out why as a kid. And so, you know, I've had a look on the inside now as an adult. I couldn't see anything obviously wrong. I thought it was the trigger, but that appears to be fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this around to a, uh, to a mate's house who's an electrician. And uh, he reckons he can get it. Uh, he might be able to get it going again. And also he's got an old CRT TV because, of course, these don't work with uh, these old laser guns don't work with um, LCD TVs. And, uh, yeah, if we get it working, I will do a follow-up video log showing us using this gun. But uh, if all else fails and we can't get it working, well, then it, you know, at least it makes a good prop for, in, you know, for doing stupid things like this. Get to the chopper! Hasta la vista, baby! Anyway... Now, what else have I got? I also got a new controller, uh, a retro bit controller. Um, as you know, I've got my original controllers, but they're old and I just don't want to, you know, damage them or age them any more than they already are. So I decided one, I just get a cheap, crappy controller just to use for, for when I'm, you know, come on, bashing keys. And, uh, and that way I'm not damaging the original stuff. Um, I also got an extension cord because, let's face it, no, none of the original cords are ever bloody long enough, so uh, I've got that to help out. And these are the first few games that have arrived that I've collected, and I'm very excited about these. I've, now, last time around, I was testing games in front of you guys, whereas admittedly, these I've already tested, uh, but I will, you know, I didn't really do much with them, so now I'll have another go at them, and uh, you guys can watch me fail miserably. Now, the first video I'm going to do is Wonder Boy, which is my absolute favorite. And being a Master System game and me having a Mega Drive, I'm going to need a converter. Now, you guys might recall me digging this out in the last video, but I had no Master System games to try on it because back originally when... Um, my mum, when I convinced my mum to have a, you know, to get me a Mega Drive, she said only if we sell the Master System and and most of its games. And so I was allowed to keep a, a few as long as I, um, so I could use it through this. But then the ones I really wanted to keep didn't work. So like Wonder Boy in Monsterland. So in the end, this was 
practically useless. I think all my Master System games got given away in the end, so uh, or sold. So yeah, now I have something to use with this because I've bought it, and I'm very happy because I actually got it here in my local city, Adelaide, in South Australia. I actually managed to source a copy, and it's like mint condition. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. It's even got the little hanging thing at the top. There's no signs of damage whatsoever. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And uh, for I know it's my original one. <laughs> Probably not though, the odds are significantly against that. Cartridge looks a little faded, the sticker, but otherwise fine. I think the sticker's coming loose a little bit there, but yeah, it's all right. And uh, I've put the uh, the manual into a uh, plastic thing. I've decided I'm going to do that. I've already done that with all my original games that you saw me playing in the last video, and now I'm doing that with all my purchase ones too. So, let's get playing. Alright, so we're going to need the Master System Converter. <sighs> yeah, feels like that's in. Flip the top. And we'll get out Wonder Boy in Monsterland. Oh. Alright, turn her on and cross our fingers it works. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't work uh, when I've tested it, so this is a relief. This was my favourite game of all time on the Master System. It was just the best. Awesome. Oh, wow. That song, I've hummed that song in my head for like the last, I don't know, 25 years or 30 years or something. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. This game, oh, you know, I realized the other day, this is probably technically the first RPG I ever owned. Might even be the first I ever played, because obviously, you know, you develop your character, you collect armor and weapons and stuff and spells and things. So, you know, here I am playing Elder Scrolls and stuff like that today and sort of forgot that it all started with a game like this. And, you know, the other one I think of the earliest would be Faxanadu on the Nintendo, but I, I can't remember whether I played that before or after first playing this um, at a friend's house, because uh, he had a Nintendo. But anyway, yeah. So, let's have a go. Now, this game didn't work originally, and it still doesn't work now. The reason is, I didn't know it back then, but I've since found out these days, thanks to the internet, it does not like Mega Drive controllers. Something about they have that third button sends it into haywire. So if I start a game here, it will go schizo. <laughs> if I try to jump, uh, no. Normally, if I hit a key, there we go. <laughs> He just does that forever. So yeah, it, although it wasn't funny as a kid, I was quite mortified when this happened because I was like, no, I can't play my game. I've lost it forever. So then mum, as soon as mum found out, she was like, right, we're selling it. I'm like, no. So yeah. Fortunately, I've since found out on the internet that all I need is an original Master System controller, which fits just fine into the Mega Drive. So I hit eBay and I found one. And it uh, wasn't much, I think I was selling it for about 20 bucks, so yeah, it's in good condition. I've cleaned it up as well with um, one of my retro collecting friends told me straight uh, as soon as I started this journey that uh, isoprobic alcohol will be your friend. Use it on everything to clean it up. <laughs> the cartridges, the games, everything. So, I've got this and we'll plug it in and we'll uh, have another go. Alright, I think we're ready for action. I've plugged in the Master System controller. I've put the uh, camera on a stand. I think we're good to go. Oh, if you want to what my shirt says, I know where the missing big cow is. Here. Why not eating a steak competition? And also, why am I wearing a Nintendo hat while playing a Sega game? Because I just felt like it. But, uh, you know, no, I'm not bald, so don't worry. I'll take it off. I just couldn't be stuck doing anything with my hair for this video. Alright, let's get this baby going. Oh no. See, this is one of the errors I talked about I've noticed with this cartridge. Yeah, here we go. Alright. Oh. Uh. I used to be bloody good at this as a kid. 
And of course, I'll be absolutely terrible now. I can promise you that. But uh, I used to know all the secret stuff wasn't anything. And I reckon I should. Yeah. I reckon I should uh, play this properly one day and for on, on my channel do a video. Have I? I don't know. Hey, brave man. Listen carefully. The country's fate depends on you. Your mission is to destroy the vicious dragon and restore peace. Take the sword and potion with you. I will see you again. I presume he or she can teleport or something. Now, there was something up here. Where was it? There it is. <laughs> There's possibly something in that tree if you jump down, but I can't quite remember exactly. And Is there anything up here? Can't remember. Can't remember. No. There's something here though. Yeah. Ale or mead? How about neither? I'm in good health. Please come again. Oh, visiting the shops, buying items. Oh, wow, I'm doing well. Brings back memories. There we go. I can't believe I finally own this game again. There it is. There's a bloody monster fight here, isn't there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> And you lure him down, back away, swing the sword. I used to... Oh, I used to know how to get over the key and get all the coins, you know, all perfectly. <laughs> Not anymore. Right. Get the timing right. Yeah. There was something up here. Where is it? Where's the heart? I know there was a heart up here. Ah, there we go. Oh, that song, that music. Oh, that's the other thing that's changed since my last video, guys. I now have a proper stereo cable plugged in to the headphone out. Because that was the only way to get stereo sound with the original Mega Drive one. Oh, the village, yes. <laughs> I suck. I used to be so good at this as a kid. Because I just play these first few levels again and again and again. And I, I'm, I'm being quick this time around, but I used to... Um, yeah, why not? Now I should be able to jump. Yeah, I feel a little better now. Um, I used to stick around like this and wait for the monsters to come back, kill them again. Get extra um, score for... Uh, Killing them a second time. Of course, I won't have any money for the shield now. Should have got that. Because there's a dude with a um, with arrows coming up. Woo! Hey! <laughs> now there was something down here. Where was it? I'm gonna run out of time here. Ah That's nearly giving me enough for a shield. Oh shivers. Oh, I... <laughs> oh, God. No! Oh. Right, now I can afford the... Oh, no, I can't. I need more gold. I know there's more secret gold around, I've just forgotten where the bloody stuff is. So now you got to jump over the arrows, because I didn't buy the shield. Oh, well, I'm temporarily invulnerable, so I'm going to use that. Now I can afford a shield. <laughs> Go back and get it. I think even that third time you may even get some score, I can't remember. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Now we're in business. Hey, 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 hey. What do you think of that, pal? Nice jug. Let's 
something here. Oh, maybe not. It's all forgotten now, guys. I can't remember. Oh, I hated these bats. I do remember that. Whoa! Well, okay, we're off to a good start. Oh, I love this song. I used to hum this for years as well. Come on. Come down you come. Come on! Oh, that was close. Oh, hello. A big heart. Nice. Oh, I could swear there was something around here. Wasn't there a hidden door here? Someone beyond the wall. If you're on your way to fight the dragon, I'll teach you. The hero's emblem may help you to beat it. My friend Catherine lives in the coastal town of Barabor. Give this letter to her. She'll be sure to help you. Probably not going to pay much further because I don't want this video to go forever like last time. Oh, come on. Oh, I knew one of these bastards to get me. Oh, no. Oh, I <laughs> just made it. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Shit. I balls that up, didn't I? But I got a new sword. How do I get to, um... Can't remember. I don't know if there was a stat screen where you could change stuff. Pause. <laughs> there we go. If you hit the pause button, you can uh, look at your stuff. But I don't know if I can change anything there. So maybe I just automatically equip the better sword. I've forgotten that bit. <sighs> oh god. I remember this bit, you go into the clouds, and there was like hidden stuff on the clouds. And you get... I think it was actually probably possibly better to not get boots until this point. Nah, I don't need it. I'll be right. I bet that... Oh, oh, oh. I was about to say, I bet there's something secret in here, I just can't remember. And I remember I used to fall down all the time up here and get really angry. I think I need... Oh. No, I made it. thought I might need better boots to get to this cloud. can't remember if a kid if I once made it to that other cloud, but I don't know if that... Yeah, probably nothing. Definitely going to finish this in a minute. Another boss fight? It's the mushroom guy! I don't like you. Yep. Oh my god. Yeah! Got him. Yes! Oh, I actually got it right this time. There you go. First world. I think we'll leave it there, but oh god, I loved this game as a kid. It was just about, I'm so glad I own it again, and that I own a nice sort of mint condition copy of it. Oh god, yeah, no thanks. And then they don't even give you money. <laughs> Alright, let's get on with the next game. Alright, now next game of the five we're going to be trying out. Uh, is another Wonder Boy game. Now this one was one I always wanted to have, but just never got around to. I don't think I even hired as a kid. I, I can't remember. I think I think it just was difficult to find um, by the time I discovered it. And uh, so I've mucked around with it with emulation and stuff, but it's uh, yeah. Now it's one I finally own. That you know they made a proper Wonder Boy game for the Mega Drive. And there was another one out there too called um, uh, Wonder Boy. 
3, oddly enough, which contradicts the Wonder Boy 3 on the Master System, Dragon's Trap. Um, but it was like a rolling cloud shooter. It seemed more like a sequel to Cloud Master, which I, you know, I didn't like it. Whereas this one is a proper Wonder Boy game. Looks pretty cool. And this is another Australian one. Now, international people watching this will probably notice this, that our manuals for the Mega Drive are just the same cheap blue and white ones we had with the Sega Master System, sadly. Um, whereas you overseas folks in America and, and Europe got beautiful colour manuals for your games. So anyway, let's give this one a go. Yeah! Wonder Boy Monster World. It's a game I should have had on the, on the Mega Drive, but I just never did until now. And I'm very happy I have it. Because, you know, I, as you guys know from the last game, I loved... Oh wow, look at that. I loved Wonder Boy Monster Land. And I'm also planning on getting my hands on Wonder Boy 3 Dragon's Trap, of course. So this is technically Wonder Boy 4, pretty much. And as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. And plays pretty much just like the original Master System ones, but just with better graphics. That looks really cool. Alright, let's get playing. Alrighty. What's really cool about this is that, you know, for years this was a dead series, you know, the one, there were no Wonder Boy games, and now, in 2018, we've got Wonder Boy 3 Dragon's Trap remade, and on PC and consoles, and they've got a new sequel game coming called Monster Boy. Um, apparently uh, there's some stupid legal thing where they own the rights, so it is an official sequel, but they don't have the full control of the IP or something, so they can't call it Wonder Boy, but it is a Wonder Boy and Monster World game, I can assure you of that, and it looks great. So, you know, now there's all these sequels, which, which just makes me want to collect these original Wonder Boy games even more, so I can just play the whole series and enjoy them. So, yeah, Inverting Army, Peaceful Valley, Shadow by Monsters, you know, the usual thing. A young man named Shion vowed to defeat them make his land peaceful again. Woohoo! Nice little house. Alright. Jump, swing the sword, and that one does nothing. Alrighty. Of course, now with this one, I know nothing of where the secrets are, guys. Nothing. I like it how it's pretty much the same as Wonder Boy and Monster Land, the start. Once again, this world is being threatened. The princess has been kidnapped from Pur Pearl Castle? You better use caution. Here's an elixir and a firestorm. Take them with you. Make sure you're ready to use magic at all times. I will if I know what key that is. There we go. Let's see if that coin is there, just like in um. Yes! <laughs> they just had to put the secrets in the same spot. Beautiful. I love it. Uh, which, uh, there we go. Hey, don't run away, what are you doing? Whew. Any secrets up here? And do they respawn? I can't remember. Oh, now you can get back up there if you want. <laughs> and what about a money bag? Is that here? Nah. <laughs> they just give you that first secret and then everything else is different. Is this a bar like last time? It's a shop, because there's shoes there. 
you have a discriminating on. That's leather boots. Cost 30 gold. Oh, I've only got 20. I'm sorry, but you don't have enough money. I'm gonna go to earn some money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god. This guy's moving a bit faster than last time, isn't he? And he looks angry. Look at his face. Is there, um... I don't think there's a time limit this time around, is there? So, we go to here. No, there's no clock. That's even better. I don't miss that. As much as I love uh, Monster Land, I don't miss the bloody um, time limit. So you can, like, configure all your stuff here just like in your uh, standard RPG game. I say no, you can't go in or something. The little castle entry is prohibited. Go away. Well, what do you think about this mother effer? Apparently, they think nothing, it does nothing. Whee. This reminds me of a later level of Wonder Boy Mossland. I don't have a good boots, do I? I was probably meant to go back and get them. Oh, actually, I still don't have enough money. I wonder if this game will actually let you go all the way back and get them. Probably. Very good. Alright, I think I'll leave it here. With whatever the hell this was a monkey. It's very uh, distorted. You know what I noticed? The image gets a little smoother and clearer when I move. It must be something my Sony TV is doing. Or as soon as I stand still, all the pics. All the artifacts and things appear. <laughs> oh, that was fun. I'm glad I finally have that. I just need to get some of the other Wonder Boys now. Okay, guys, time for the next game. This time, it is Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Master System. Now, I never owned this, but I used to borrow it off a friend all the time to play on my Master System. And I absolutely loved it. I actually loved it more than the sequel, Sonic 2, on the Master System. And uh, it was, yeah, it just, it just had cool stuff. It had like a map and just prettier graphics, I think, than the, than the second one. And, uh, you know, it had a beautiful jungle zone as well, which I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but it was, uh, yeah, I really loved the jungle zone because that wasn't even in the Mega Drive version, which, you know, of course, I adored. And I actually saw someone posting on Twitter the other day that they think this Master System Sonic is way better than the Mega Drive one, which, uh, you know, hey, I love this, but I think you're a... Boy, are you a hardcore Master System fan, mate, because <laughs> I think the Mega Drive one was much better. But I'll tell you what what it, this does beat it with, though, um, the cover. Much better cover. I love this cover, whereas the Mega Drive Sonic um, here, well, at least it was here in Australia, I assume it's the same everywhere else, just had Sonic with this sort of pattern in the background. Um, this is much cooler, as it's got Green Hill Zone and everything. So let's uh, open her up once again. Uh, cheap blue and white manual i'm not sure if other countries got better manuals for the master system i don't i think we all got crap ones didn't we it was just the mega driver australia decided to stay cheap <laughs> and the rest of the world progressed to color manuals but, uh, all right let's get her in there ah that's what she said we're gonna start doing that again yeah, aren't i <laughs> yeah geez she starts off right away that's what she said. <laughs> nice. Now they do an auto, yes they do. Yeah, so this has got, it's got this lovely map thing which even the Mega Drive didn't have, so it's kind of cool. Not bad. Bit primitive compared to the Mega Drive one, but uh, Still, you know, it's a fun game. It looks pretty. It's it's good for the masters, and that's for sure. <laughs> you idiot! This the auto play is even worse than me. Um, but yeah, uh, and it's interesting. I actually saw someone um, hacked the Sonic Two for Masters the other day, and they added all these new levels into it, and their levels look way better than this or the other Sonic Two levels. They had all these background elements and lightning and rain and stuff, and uh, 
Yeah, you'd think it was the Mega Drive. It looks so good. It was amazing. It's really amazing, fa uh, talented uh, fan stuff out there. Anyway, let's get playing. Alrighty. Now, fortunately, with this one, it doesn't have a problem with the Mega Drive controller, so I don't need to switch things over again. I just got to remember that uh, some of these buttons aren't going to do anything. Oh. Alright, jump. Let's jump. That'll do nothing. That'll do nothing. And these will do nothing. And you can go back the way you can. Yes, you can. Good. Alright. Controls don't feel quite as fluid as the Mega Drive one, but uh, still reasonably responsive. I think you can jump higher than this one, possibly. It's hard to tell. And of course, there's no down spin server. even worse than the freaking auto player. I was like, oh, there's no enemies here, I can stop rolling, and then I plow right into an enemy. You fool. Screwed up especially for the internet. Oh my god. I was meant to roll down that, fly through the air, and... Hey, what if I use this? Oh yeah, here we go. Woo! Woo! <laughs> went over the rings! Oh boy! Oh my god! What does that do? Can't remember what that does, but anyway. Oh, I must be near the end now, surely. Jesus. Weird how those things are so small compared to their uh, Mega Drive counterparts. Oh dear. Oh, those guys. Oh, I nearly screwed up then, guys. Death or end of level, that's how this demonstration is going to end. Oh. Gonna be in the level. Woohoo! I think. I think with the. I'm trying to remember with, with the Masters one, you could keep smacking that into the air to get extra points. I can't quite remember. No. Oh. Missed lots of stuff, but. Oh, but apparently I'm eligible for a bonus level. Oh, I forgot about these. Bit different to the uh, spinning world with all the birds and the background stuff. I loved that bonus level on the, the Mega Drive one. Oh my god. Probably a life somewhere in up here, isn't there? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna look at it get a hundred before the counter runs out. You idiot! Yes! What did that do? I don't know. Now we're there. Two zones or three zones per world or whatever uh, in this one. I can't quite remember, guys. What happened then? Oh, I think that was meant to happen. Hey, yeah, you got a shield. That flicker looks terrible on modern TV. And I'm not, I can't do down spins. <laughs> I gotta run. Oh god, water. 
The um, that was another impressive thing about this game was that the um, oh, the labyrinth zone in this one looked very similar to the Mega Drive one. They really did a good effort with that one. Don't hit that. So what does that arrow do? I don't. I don't even bother with it. Oh, I think that's enough for this one. But uh, yeah, fun game. I did complete it back in the day. It's actually relatively easy, really. I think I would say easier than the Mega Drive one. All right, next game: Shadow of the Beast. Now I used to hire this occasionally for my Sega Mega Drive, but um, I never ended up buying it because I don't know. It, it, I have mixed feelings about it in that. I loved its music, its graphics. It was just an amazing and strange game. It was just beautiful. But um, I was never any good at it. I just couldn't get very far. And, uh, and I get kind of confused, the fact that you could just go in any direction. And, um, yeah, I wasn't quite sure what the proper progression was and all that kind of stuff. And, um, yeah, I, um, I don't know. I never... It's weird how I, there are things I love about it and things I don't. <laughs> now, this one's got a color manual, so maybe this one's not the Australian one or... I'm trying to remember, some companies did actually still give Australia um, good uh, good manuals. Like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, look at that. Yeah, the EA had their own sort of big cartridges. Not bad. All right, let's give her a go. That's what she said. Working. Off to a good start. Yeah. Oh, I love that animation. Nostalgic. Back when EA weren't evil. Now, yeah, this is one of the big things about this game. The soundtrack is insane. The artwork is insane. It's funny. It's just one of those games that even though I didn't necessarily enjoy playing, it just, it just seems like one of those really important Mega Drive games to have. It was just amazing. I don't know whether the autoplay will do anything. I think there is an autoplay eventually. Demo finger. No, it's just gonna keep going. All right, well then I'll play. All right. Jump, punch, jump. I think this is, yeah, it's exactly the same. Yeah, because I, I remember you could just run for ages right or left, but I remember if you went left, it would lead to this underground thing, and it just had like my favorite soundtrack, like one of my favorite Mega Drive songs ever. It was amazing. Now, I'm probably gonna do really badly here, guys, because I sucked at this game as a kid, so odds are I suck even more now. Enemies would come at you from the side so quickly. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Yes! I got one! Oh, the bloody boulders! Can you punch them? Yes! Okay, forget jumping. I can punch boulders, baby! Oh! Yeah, the graphics look so much better when everything's in motion. See, it says hard, yet it's full of danger. This is the song that I love. Inside a winding staircase descends into darkness. Pausing for a while to allow your eyes to adjust. You make your way down the steps, which seem to deteriorate into makeshift planks. Good God, I wish they'd play that a bit faster or just put it all there. Alright, here we go. 
Now the song was just about to get good as I left that screen, but uh... Ah! What the hell was that? Don't you throw fireballs at me, boy! Oh. <laughs> oh. Wrong. See what I mean? Why, it's just so difficult! Oh god. Go away. Music gets really good to sing. Oh god, what is that thing? Oh, there's lots of them! Yeah, I love this bit of the song. What, they just come forever? collector's items to have because of its beautiful graphics and music. Whew. Evil. Alrighty. Fifth and lucky last. Lemmings. Now, those of you who saw my previous uh, video saw that I was the owner of Lemmings 2 and I had mixed feelings about that purchase. I kind of wish I'd spent the money on something else because I never really got far and it found it quite difficult and of course later discovered that the PC and Amiga versions and stuff of the Lemmings games were vastly superior and it was just better playing with a mouse. But um, I don't know, you know, I just thought, well, look, if I can find this cheap, I may as well, just to complete the set, since I had Lemmings 2 for the Mega Drive, I may as well get Lemmings 1 for the Mega Drive. And I actually used to own Lemmings for the Master System, so I mean, maybe I should have got that to just to really connect with what I used to have. But I don't know, I just decided to get this one instead. And, uh, you know, it... Had great graphics. It's certainly its graphics matched um, the uh, the computer versions, but um, yeah, just a bit rough playing with the controller. That's for sure. But let's have some fun with it. Ah. She's working. I do actually remember hiring this, I think, once back in the 90s on my Mega Drive, I think. Because I remember being quite surprised that, it, you know, the graphics were nice, the music was good, superior even to some of the computer versions. This is 
is one of those great old franchises of the 80s and 90s that just died. I'm kind of surprised that in these days of retro remakes and sequels that no one's um, no one's done a new Lemmings game. But, you know, it surely it's only a matter of time. I don't know who has the license these days, but surely someone would uh, do it. Because you could do all kinds of things with modern graphics. You could do some really fun stuff. But, um, yeah, anyway, I'm not sure if they do an auto demo here, so uh, I might have to just play myself. All right. Oh. Start. <laughs> the classic save game function. Really read that. It's uh, the artifacts make it quite difficult to read writing. Let's start. There we go. And then to the digger. C to select. All right. There we go. Yeah, for those of you who saw me playing Lemmings too, I do enjoy being evil. How do I make them all come out? Is it this thing? That's the pause button. Well, they've all already come out, haven't they? Oh, will they make it? <laughs> oh dear. So evil, Daniel. Oh god, remember this one? Oh. Remember, uh, this was not fun on the master system, this one. Had different music too. I remember it was like... Oh, Oh no! <laughs> oh, too late. <laughs> oh well, that was fun. Well, I think we'll leave it there. I've uh, I figured five games was roughly the right amount to start with, and uh, once some more games arrive, I'll um, I'll do some more. And uh, I'm actually putting together a uh, a big new set of cupboards which as you might recall is a bit different to the previous video um, where I'm putting in all my retro games and movies and stuff so uh, yeah I intend to build a nice big collection of Master System and Mega Drive games and uh, and as I, as they start rolling in from eBay I'll um, I'll do new videos and like I said hopefully I can get the, um, the Menacer gun working uh, for the next video and I'll hopefully be able to show you guys some cool stuff with that and uh, I'm really excited about some of the games I've ordered. I've um, I've got like uh, Star Trek: The Next Generation and Jurassic Park coming in from um, overseas, so they're, they're probably going to take a while. They were actually some of the first ones I ordered because I wanted them heaps bad, and uh, I intend to get more Sonic games. I I loved playing Asterix on the Master System, so I intend to get that and some of its sequels. Uh, Oh god, there's that many Mega Drive games I'd love to have as well, like um, NBA Jam and uh, and some of uh, yeah some of the Star Trek games and oh, you know there's just stacks. So uh, yeah, I, oh and the Mortal Kombat's is another one. So yeah, there's there's a lot of games I, I hope to get and um, oh and Wonder Boy Three Dragon's Trap that's another one I'm quite excited about getting because I never got to play that properly as a kid. So uh, and that is most people's favourite Wonder Boy game. So it seems like the one I've got to have then, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed uh, today's uh, 
retro gaming uh, collector's uh, playthrough thing. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to do another one for you guys soon. So uh, I think that's it now. Bye. My shoe is bigger than this car.